in the last 70 years, we've seen the development of the most powerful general purpose technology that we've ever had. And that's information technology and communications. And so, you know, over time, I've studied the, the changes in the efficiency of this equipment over time. We had over, you know, from the mid forties to 2000, we doubled the efficiency of computing every 1.6 years, like clockwork. Vacuum tubes, discrete transistors. Most of us know Moore's law from computing. You get twice the computing capability um, every two years for the same dollar. It's an improvement of about 41% for the same dollar every year. And we know from the, the history of manufacturing that for every doubling of cumulative production experience for something like a car or a wind turbine or photovoltaic panel, you get from a 10 to 30% reduction in the cost per unit. Um, so solar has been, every time you double uh, production of solar PV, um, the cost per uh, watt of solar goes down by about 22%. And this has been the case since about 1970. So it's a well-established curve. So if you want to look at the next 10 years or 20 years, unless we hit a physical limit, which I don't think we are, um, we can look forward to 22% decrease in the cost per watt of solar, uh, basically every time the industry doubles in size. And you can apply those cost curves to lithium-ion batteries, to wind, to um, essentially, pretty much any technology. Just in the last three years, the cost of storage has dropped by 50%. And you see that reflected in the marketplace. Each technology, say lithium ion, um, solar PV, uh, electric vehicles, and so on, each technology has its own cost curve. Usually, um, because we think linearly, we human beings think linearly, um, essentially when it's below one or two or 3%, we don't even notice for good reasons, right? And it may take a long time for adoption to get to 1%, 2%, 3%, but it may have been growing at 40, 50% per year as electric vehicles, for instance, have, or as solar has. If something is growing at 40, 50% per year, once you hit 2%, then it takes Two years to hit four, four years to hit 8%, six years, 16%, eight years, it's 32%, 64, and it's over.